It's Talk Funny, a podcast by Mark Bailey and comics from all over. We ended up in Japan because the judge said we are not allowed near schools in the U.S. anymore. The Talk Funny podcast from NagoyaRadio.com and Nagoya Comedy. Here's Mark Bailey. Mark Bailey, Mike Miller on Talk Funny. Mike, I have a pet crow. Oh, yeah? A pet crow in the park, Central Park, which is not so far from us. It's kind of southern Central Park. I know it's the same crow because he's the only one. I taught him to catch croutons and bread <laughs> wow. uh, with his mouth. Wow. You can even throw it in the air, and he'll fly up and catch it. Wow. And I throw it uh, just to see. I call him Benny, and, you know, they all look alike, so sometimes I'm not sure it's Benny. It's the same size. It might be some other crow, so I throw it. They don't catch it. Okay, get, no, no more soup for you. Yeah. No more, no more croutons for you. When I find him, you know, he'll always kind of stand to my side next to the bench. Mm-hmm. Crows are actually very smart. They're incredibly intelligent birds, yeah. I saw a headline on an Australian newspaper, and it said, Birds are getting smarter. Should humans be worried? <laughs> they've, the crows have always been smart. And they're, you know, people just read the headlines. They don't read the... I read the article, and the article said, There's these birds. It wasn't crows. It was some kind of... Parrots, cockatoos are very cockatoos, smart, too. That's what it was. It was cockatoos. It said cockatoos have learned... But I already saw this on YouTube with crows, so I knew it happened, but it said cockatoos have learned how to raid the trash cans. So they've learned how to take the lids off the trash cans. And they'll spot trash cans where the lid is blown off, and they'll alert everybody, all their friends, and they just empty the trash can. Mm -hmm. And so their anecdote in the article was this was a locked trash can, and the cockatoos still got into the locked trash can. But he admitted that he forgot to lock the trash can the night that it happened. So it wasn't a locked <laughs> trash can. <laughs> clickbait. Yeah, that is clickbait. It wasn't a locked trash can. That's why. Lock your trash cans. Humans don't have to be worried. Yeah. But they had a thing on YouTube where they'll show crows and they'll have, you know, stones in a garden and they'll have a, a bottle of water. And they'll put some bread yeah. at the bottom of the water, at the bottom of the bottle, and then the crows will put up. They'll to put, put the stones in, in which is kind of like the old Aesop's fable, right? Yeah. And they did it over and over again. They did it with all different crows. There's no way these crows knew each other or even told each other how to do it. They innately knew how to do it. I heard they can recognize human faces as well. Yeah. So they can distinguish between people. There's a guy, there's my boss who worked at a Japanese, I was a dispatch teacher, and he would... You okay there, Mark? Car parts place. Yeah. He would kick crows to be in the parking lot and he would go out of his way doors over here to his left he'd go out of his way to the right to kick pigeons and crows oh. just kick them try to kick them usually they would fly away but he was trying to kick them because he didn't he, want them pooing on stuff I, I guess. guess Yeah. you know if you don't want a crow to poo on your car don't kick him yeah <laughs> then, now he's motivated his car was covered with bird crap Ah, so it's kind of like a self-reinforcing cycle yeah. here. A cycle keep, of cycle of violence. we got to break the cycle of violence. Keep crapping on my car. I'll teach you how to crap on my car. I'm going to... Yeah, you are teaching me how to crap on your car. I'll kick you. All right, I'm going to crap on your car again. And so I'm very careful when I go to the park, and I'm like, Benny, you know, so make sure I give it to Benny, and then uh-huh. I'll, I'll throw some to some others. But I'm never mean to the crows. Yeah. I really respect... Some scientists have said that they have the brain size, uh, brain capacity as much as, you know, basically monkeys. Mm-hmm. Not chimpanzees, but monkeys. Mm-hmm. Crows, they will circle around in the garbage. They've already learned the logo for KFC and McDonald's. Wow. So they prefer those because a lot of grease, a lot of potatoes. Wow. A lot of bread. Did you hear about in the, I think it's in the Netherlands or somewhere, they've trained them to pick up bottle caps? Wow. They basically have a thing where the they train the, the, um, the crows, that if they pick up a bottle cap and they put it in a certain container, they get a food reward. And so the the crows learn this and they go around, fly around looking for bottle caps. So the crows are picking up trash to put in this little container because they get a little food reward. That's how smart they are. They're smarter than homeless people. <laughs> a lot of homeless people don't do that. Well, they pick up the cans. Come on. Crows, they, they have the beak. They can't pick up a can. But caps, I mean, the caps are... It's more time efficient to pick up caps. Mm-hmm. You pick up cans. I was trying to do everything green in the 90s when I was in the States, and I had a, a beautiful car that I ruined with cola juice and Sprite juice from all the recycled cans that I had put in garbage bags that leaked. Ah. And I would take it to recycle, and I'd get spent $4 on gas. I'd get $0.28. Cents. Yeah. At least I'm helping the earth. 
but I got to buy another car. <laughs> That, that's Screw good. That's earth. good for the earth too. Yeah, that's really good. All of that Had aluminum, all that year. aluminum that you sent there is going to be in your new car that yeah. you're going to get. So buy, buy a new car every two years. I'm doing great. <laughs> new, green stuff. Well, you know, in Nagoya, they basically you separate your plastics, and apparently they get burned along with the regular burnable garbage. I had a, a student uh, dispatch company, and they were waste disposal, and he said, "You want to go see the dump? Okay. I mean, I don't want to smell it or anything. Just drive by." He goes, "So." That's the landfill. That's where you put everything. I said, but where do you put the cans and the bottles? There. <laughs> and the bottles? Yeah. What about the regular garbage? There. What about the unburnable garbage? Yeah, it's there. <laughs> so is it like in a different area? It's like a convenience store. You have one can and two holes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the it same goes in the same bin. Bag. Yeah. One is for cans. You put it in the wrong hole, Mike. <laughs> That's for cans. <laughs> you put a bottle in the camper. Okay. Yeah. Then they're just going to move it to the other side of the bag. Yeah. When they dump the bag, it goes into the same place. Wow. And I, I told my This was wife, years ago, though, right? No, they're still doing it. The I think the cans, but I think the plastic. Cans, unburnable I think garbage, the plastic, yeah. Unburnable garbage and burnable garbage actually goes to the same place. Yeah, the unburnable, yeah. I don't know why we have the to separate. I don't know why we have to separate. It's so complicated. It it's creates so much frustration, and it's so hard when you move house in Japan because if you miss one of those collection days and they only come for the unburnable garbage, which is like wood and, and like appliance, like small appliances and stuff like that, they only come once a month usually. Yeah. So if you miss that day, I think they're in cahoots with the garbage collection companies that yeah. you have to pay to come and pick up your stuff because you miss that day and you're moving out of your apartment, you're Crude. Well, I try to throw away uh, a computer that's useless. Oh, TVs. And my yeah, wife, that's the worst. My wife will say, we just go to a computer store. You've never been to a computer store in your life, lady. Mm. Go to a computer store. No, they don't want it. No. They're not going to buy it. They're not going to dispose of it for you. That's why I like parks, Mike. <laughs> Late at night. Here, Benny. With my friend, Benny. Here, Benny. <laughs> Benny, Benny, your don't, beaks. Don't tell anybody. Don't sing like a bird, Benny. <laughs> don't you dare sing like a bird. Here's some more croutons. Here's some more croutons. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've heard that some people just leave parts in a park. I mean, I would. that sounds horrible to me. Parts in a park. The computer parts and computers and printers. And, you know, it sounds horrible. That Old blow-up dolls. You know? <laughs> that would be a horrible thing to do. So I would, no, I mean, I no, you, have never done that. No, you go, you, you, what people do in Japan is that it's like when you had, back in the day, when you had a dog and you couldn't support the dog anymore. You go on a ride into the country and then you get to the top of a hill where there's a little cliff. And you take out the computer, and the computer falls down the hill and uh, into the bush, and it you know, yeah, it fell, it fell out of my car. We're not advocating for this, by the way. I just Hello, know, people. and I've never, I've never, I've never put trash in the park in people the for the ethical by people. the side of the road. But I, when I did a bicycle tour once in southern, uh, southwestern Japan in Oita, I did a tour there, and yeah, we went up the mountains, sir. Like people just throwing refrigerators off the side of the road, and like it was really sad. I cars, they just leave cars. They'll park the car by the side of the highway and just and leave. If you go in a, a Mount Fuji, you go to the top, you look down, you'll see refrigerators. People just dumping, <sighs> stuff, dumping stuff. I don't know if what's worse, the refrigerators or the, the suicide forest, you know, yeah. <laughs> where you see other things I that people to, have uh, left there. You know, there's so many places in Japan that my wife hasn't seen yet. Mm. <laughs> suicide forest is one of those. I think we should start with that one. Call up Logan get Paul. I think he wants ticket. to go back. Get a one-way ticket. <laughs> just you know, take your time, honey. Just... Why well, don't you take Steve B. Howard's book with you? And <laughs> take this rope. And there's a lot of trees and, you know, climb some trees. Oh, my God. Stuff. Hello, Patreon. <laughs> All right. Mark Bailey, Mike Miller, and Talk Funny.